Hi friends, in this video we are going to see how to create a PowerPoint animation for a bus running on the road. So this is the image which I got from internet. This is the school bus image. First I am going to uh, uh, create the wheels, rotating wheels for this bus. Let's see how to do that. Use hollow circle to create the tire. Uh, make sure like the height and width of the shape is same so that you will get the exact circle. Also use the yellow dot to control the width of the tire. You can fill a uh, required color, a uh, black color here for the tire. Next step is to create the tire outer cut. Uh, so I am going to create a bit uh, higher size of the tire and I am going to use this star with 24 points. Uh, to uh, for this purpose so make sure like um, the height and width of the star is same as we done previously for the circle also make sure like you aligned the star at the center of the circle uh, here also you can control the outer cut using the yellow points so once you are happy so select the two shapes go to the merge option uh, use uh, here intersect you will get the, uh, the tire outer cut so now here it looks like bit higher size so maybe I'll, I'll reduce the uh, size to 4.2 inches um, it's going back so yeah now it looks okay next is to create uh, the a center frame of the tire for this I am going to use again the star with uh, the eight uh, legs or points uh, so make sure you know you have the same height and width and aligned uh, star at the center of the circle okay also here uh, yeah it's aligned and also make sure like uh, you can adjust the you know uh, the yellow dot to get the height of the uh, leg uh, so once you are happy you can go for the next step you can increase the size a bit of the star and make sure it is aligned at the center and middle yeah now go to the merge shape as uh, so, yeah merge shape and uh, fragment it so you'll get the center frame um let's give proper color to the uh, frame uh, maybe probably uh, uh, to give a metallic uh, feeling um i'm going to select some dark gray and uh, white combination uh, the gradient settings so that it uh, will get this, uh, a metallic coating feeling okay, so yeah, I can try a, a good combination uh, uh, to give the proper color uh, if you try yeah but linear looks okay for me so let's go with the, the linear gradient Next, uh, to give oh, a feeling of a uh, few nuts in the frame, I'm, I'm going to create a small circle uh, with uh, uh, the same metallic effect. I'm going to use the format paint option to get the same effect. Okay, so just place the nuts like at the uh, uh, leg, each leg of the uh, frame. Final step is to create a, a metallic circle uh, to place on the top. Um, you can use the same um, format painter to get the circle. final step is to apply the proper animation go to the animation option click this pin so the wheel is ready let's place the wheel on the bus and see how it looks like 
next is to create the road and a roadside view i have two images for different road views so i'm going to show you like how we can create the um, and a good animation with this so first i'm going to create uh, uh, roads with the marking uh, with this side view images uh, so for that just i'm going to take the rectangle option just draw a road uh, with the black uh, fill and next time i'm going to add the road road markings okay just uh, place it properly and fill white color now copy paste the markings next do the same for the other background as well i am just going to duplicate it so that the roads will be properly aligned uh, you know just remove uh, the background image uh, side image and just paste it over there the good thing with this approach is the roads will be aligned exactly which is one of the basic requirement for our animation so here i have created a road and uh, uh, also a background uh, the sky and cloud and paste our bus so let's see how it looks like so this is the one which we have right now so next i am going to copy the, uh, the road side view which we created and just placed uh, its side to the um, bus view okay so just note that this is just outside of the presentation okay? and make sure like these two views are aligned to center and middle uh, basically it should basically you know exactly overlap with each other okay and place outside the slide view mark uh, to make sure like it is i have placed it just on top of it you can i can even zoom and see you know whether it fits properly or not yeah it looks okay okay so now the placement looks fine uh, so next i'm going to apply the animation so it's a, just a symbol animation fly uh, you can see that fly in animation okay and the direction you have to uh, give from uh, left so it, okay it is like flying from left to right okay bring the bus to the front so that you can see the animation properly okay so go to the animation pane do further settings uh, so select the two animation which we have given just now um yeah so um uh, increase the timing to 4 seconds and do on with previous delay zero so for uh, the one animation delay is uh, you know give the half the delay um, in the next video I am going to do the same for the front view of the bus like uh, you can see like uh, how the uh, uh, running bus looks like when we see from the uh, front. S stay tuned. Thanks for watching.